Welcome back to another Wildlife Outdoors adventure. Today we invite you to join us in the charming town of Round Rock, Texas as we embark on the pursuit of the vibrant Rio Grande cichlid. Today we'll be wading into the crisp, chilly waters immersing ourselves in nature in all hopes of connecting with the only cichlid species native to the United States. This journey is more than a fishing expedition. It's an exploration of our connection to the wild, an ode to the unique and beautiful aquatic life that thrives in our very own backyard. So grab a seat, embrace the tranquility, and let's dive into this adventure. We are here at a, oh, just hooked up as I'm recording this. <laughs> Don't know what it is. Just recording an intro and I already got a fish on. But uh, we're here in a central Texas body of water trying to get on some Texas natives today. I'm trying to get on some real grand cichlids, but I'm gonna go ahead and reel this fish in. So my rod's bent. <laughs> Got my GoPro, so maybe I'll get enough footage for a video. I uh, wish I had my GoPro, but so far we've, we've had a little bit of luck. I'm out here with my co host Jose, uh, our, our buddy Marco's out here too, and I think my buddy Daryl's gonna show up soon. So, uh, wish us some luck. So far, we've walked down just a little bit from where we entered, and I've caught two long eared sunfish and uh, two Guadalupe bass. Still on the hunt for the cichlid. We're gonna get it. Gotta continue on a little more. Got another one on here. Looks like it's a, uh, some type of bluegill sunfish. It is another long-eared sunfish. And this fly today, it's called a Rio Getter, originally made by Matt Bennett and my co-host Jose tied up a bunch of them. A new species of the day. Looks like we got a red breast maybe? Some type of brim, but new species. It's pretty one, still on the same fly. After a day of failure chasing the elusive Rio Grande cichlid, our spirits were undeterred. We decided on a change of scenery. With the sun rising on a new day, we're setting our sights on the exciting city of Houston, where urban waters hold promises of fresh encounters and exciting urban fishing tales. Join us as we cast our lines into the heart of the cityscape, eager for the unexpected stories that await in the urban waters of Houston. What's happening guys? We uh, did not get on any of the Texas native Rio Grande cichlids yesterday so we decided to make a little change of scenery today and uh, we're out here in a, quite the urban area and we're going to try to get on some carp, maybe some tilapia. Um, there's all sorts of different species here at this body water so uh, we're hoping to get on something so wish us some luck and uh, hopefully I get some footage of us getting on something.
What did he eat, a brass hawk? Got something. <laughs> Got a little crab here, but he's pinching the hell out of me. I'm trying to get him to let me go. The hook's in his claw. Ow! Luckily, we're using barbless hooks, so we're able to get it out of him without harming him. I think he's harming me more than I'm harming him. Let's go ahead and let him go. Come on, get out of here. Come on, buddy. Let me go. Let go. Oh, can't get, <laughs> can't get him to let me go. There he goes. I was casting at some buffaloes. There's still two of them sitting right there. that one too. Fuck! Are you seeing a new one? Uh, a brass hawk. A black brass hawk. Damn it! I got skunk. I'll say caught channel cat. I caught a crab. But uh your station. Yeah, caught me a little crusty. So it's a tough day of fishing here in the city. And I guess we're gonna get us some food. So I mean that's why it's called fishing, not catching, right? Been a tough couple days. We got on some fish, just not our intended species for either trip. That just means we gotta come back and do it again. Thank y'all for watching.